Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Jackson's six month update. Um, so this is going to be the Vlogmas video. I have done loads of day in the life sort of videos, so I'm going to do like his update as one of the videos. Um, so I have quite a lot to go through because I haven't done an update since three months and since then he's come on leaps and bounds. So I'm going to go through like the main things and obviously the little things if I can remember him I say them but I have to write it down or I forget so that's what my brain is like. So I'm going to start with his crawling. He is actually crawling so well. He started crawling I think it was bang on five months old and he was sort of doing an army crawl and he'd, he'd go on his knees and he'd swing his bum to push himself forward so he sort of head back the floor to, and then he'd get up again go on his elbows and his knees and swing forward and head back the floor and that was how he'd move around <laughs> launch <laughs> you shall get the controller Launching himself, he hasn't worked out. You have to crawl. Go, <laughs> he really wants that fucking controller, doesn't he? It's like I must have it. Mine. The last two weeks, I'd say, he has started to actually move he might move one leg and an arm and then he sort of leap frogs like he'll jump like what's the right word like he'll bounce so he'll lift his knees up and sort of jump forwards and another thing he does to move forward is he'll go on all of his arms instead of just his elbows he'll go like that and he'll drag himself forward so he's not quite got the coordination of moving one leg and one arm he sort of goes onto his le goes onto his arms and drags himself forward well done well done come on then come and get it come and get it but he is so fast it's unreal i don't well it's not even because my house is small when we go to my dad's I turned around, he was in the kitchen, and when I turned around again, he was in the living room by a jar of sweets. He just moves so quickly, and he's so mischievous as well. He'll get into things he shouldn't be doing, and he knows he shouldn't be doing, because you'll say, no, Jackson, don't do that, and he'll look at you and smile and deliberately do it. And he gets a hump when we take him away from it, because obviously he wants it. But he definitely understands, no means don't touch it because we have said no on a couple of occasions and he's not done it and he's like oh well, right, then whatever now has started to go on his arms and try and almost like when you bend down and touch your toes he's going into that sort of pose like a downward dog pose i think it's called and he's starting to grip onto objects especially in the bath he'll grip onto the handlebars in the bath and stand up so I think that's what he's trying to do because he's gripping onto the furniture and he's trying to do the um, downward dog pose but he hasn't quite got how to do it yet so I think soon he's going to be trying to stand up on the furniture but I don't know that's what it looks like to me so another thing is that he babbles he loves to babble he has done it for a while and then he sort of stopped i don't know maybe i just didn't notice it but to me it seemed like he just stopped and he didn't really he wasn't bothered but around the time he started crawling because he could get to where he wanted to go he wasn't sort of babbling 
lately though he has started to babble we read a abc book or like the incy wincy spider book so i read him a story before bed and i do actually think that's helped because i'll point everything out like dog fish cat all stuff like that and i think it has helped him because where i'm constantly talking to him like oh jackson do you want this jackson do you want that saying can you say mama can you say dada i think that has helped him he doesn't like sound the words out but the other day well yesterday i was saying yeah yeah and when we went downstairs it sounded like he said it it i don't know if he did but it definitely sounded like he was like yeah but it sounded like he was saying yes or yeah so i was a bit like oh are we having like are we trying to get our words out like are we connecting sounds together <laughs> Are you talking to me? And then, um, I wouldn't be surprised if his first word is no because of where our house is so small and we've got so much stuff, I've even chucked out a load of stuff. There's just nowhere to put everything and there's only so much baby proofing you can do. So he's constantly getting into stuff he shouldn't be. You have to have eyes in the back of your head with him. And you're like, no Jackson, don't do that. So I wouldn't be surprised if his first word is no. To pick stuff up and put it in his mouth. So he has this box of toys. I'll leave the toys inside the box. He crawls to the box, drags the box down and drags his toys to himself. And he likes to just pick stuff up and constantly put it in his mouth he's always like you have to be so careful because like i hoover literally every day because like if i had left it like one day or i didn't hoover every morning or every lunch time he would just find dirt on the floor and he would just put it straight in his mouth and it's so difficult as well because where the buggy is obviously parked in the living room bit the wheels are dirty and he's dragging himself to the wheels and trying to put the wheels in his mouth. He's obsessed with wheels and feet. On the treadmill there's a wheel that spins around and he loves to spin it. So now he's worked out everything that's a wheel, he likes to go to it and try and put it in his mouth. It's becoming an issue actually because of we're constantly saying, no Jackson, don't put your mouth near the buggy wheel. And I'm not going to wash the wheels every day because we go out in a buggy every day and I'm not going to sit there every day trying to find time in my day that I don't have to wash these wheels if they're just going to get dirty again and my dad's in a wheelchair and when my dad's wheelchair's parked up or my dad's sitting in it he'd drag himself to the wheels and he's trying to put the wheels in his mouth and I'm like no Jackson don't do that he's constantly getting into things he shouldn't be and he has an advent calendar trying and he he's worked out where there's chocolate in it and every morning I'll snap the chocolate in half, I'll have one half and he'll have the other half and he's worked out obviously whatever's in that calendar is really nice so he drags himself to the calendar to try and get the chocolate out of it <laughs> and he's like no Jackson don't do that so his calendar is in a bit of a poor state, it's all like bent up and where like he's been trying to drag it to himself and he's like dragging it through stuff so he also now sits up without support only not for a long period of time but he's definitely got better control at it and he's definitely able he's definitely going to be sitting up soon without support he can sit on the floor and if you put your legs either side of him i think it just makes him feel a bit more comforted that if he does need it he can just reach out and hold my legs but you put him on the floor in between my legs and he's perfectly fine he's definitely got better control at leaning forward and coming back whereas before he leant forward and he just he didn't have the strength to come back, he'd just sit like this. But now he like pushes himself back, straightens himself up, turns around. But after a while he does get exhausted and he's just like, ugh. So you do have to like, like okay that's enough, like sitting up time. But we did get him a jumper roo because he wanted to like bounce up and down his legs. But I don't think he likes being confined because he's enjoying crawling so much. I feel like the jumper is... A bit of a waste of money i paid like 80 pound for it and like he doesn't really like it he's only he you, goes in it for about 15 minutes every day that's it so i'm a bit disappointed with that but what can you do to bro 
blow raspberries. I keep going, no Jackson, that's really rude. Obviously he's a baby, you don't really know what that means, but he loves to do it, he loves making the sound. He literally sprays every like all his saliva everywhere, it's disgusting. But he loves making that sound. I don't know why. <laughs> I think like if he's got the unpercent, he's like all like that it is it's actually hilarious. But I try and say no Jackson ew, because it's is it literally spits everywhere, but obviously he's not gonna understand it because he's a baby, but I'll have a bath and I'll bring him upstairs and I'll read him his book and then I'll put the book on the floor and he'll sort of look at the book. But he's seen me turning the pages off the book. So if I just sort of lift the book page up a little bit, he grabs it and turns it over like that. And then I'll lift the next page up a little bit and he can grip it and turn it over again. He is so clever. Like, I've never seen a baby do that that young. So I was like, oh my god. In terms of food, he did start solid food at four months. This was on the advice of the paediatrician. We went there for something else and he said about his food and I was told them what his food habits were like and they said no. Start him on solids, it lowers the rate of allergies, um, the chances of something happening versus the chances of starting early and having a lower allergy rate is like, it's better for him to start now. So I was like, oh okay, so we started off with like two tablespoons and now he's six months, he'll have a tiny portion of pureed pureed fruit or a jar of fruit in the morning and then at lunchtime he'll have the other so if he's having a jar he'll have half in the morning and half at lunchtime plus his milk and if I'm pureeing the fruit I'll just do like a small handful of fruit and puree that my god look at your face Look at your face. In terms of um, tummy time and stuff like that, he now rolls over completely. He can, if he rolls over onto his back, I don't have to roll him backwards. He just sort of rolls himself backwards again. So he's completely content rolling backwards, as long as he don't smack his head, which he's done a couple of times. He'll roll backwards. He's not really bothered. He'll roll himself onto his front again. So... Whereas before, if he rolled on his back, he'd get freaked out, he'd start screaming. Now he's not really bothered. He's like, oh, okay, whatever, I'll turn myself over. So that's really good. It's like a lot of progression. Another thing we noticed is around, I think it's four and a half, five months, he's cri he just wake up all the time in his crib. And I thought, I don't know whether it's because of he's confined. He literally had like that much room either side of him. So I was like, no, I think he feels really cramped and really suffocated because he couldn't even turn over like that. So I was like, I'm going to see him, put, see if I can put him in his big boy bed and see how it goes. So I moved all the monitors and everything into his big like cot and I put him in it and the first night he fell asleep straight away, he just went zonked out. Lately though, the last two days, he's been wake, waking up quite a lot, but uh, he's got a cold, he's teething really badly and... I'm introducing a new thing where I feed him his bottle before because at the moment he's suckling on the bottle and it's comforting him to sleep which is really bad because he's not even drinking the milk so the milk's just dribbling down onto the cot sheets and it's just going everywhere so I'm trying to not get him, him not to get him dependent on it and I'm basically just what's the word so i'm putting like a new routine in last night it took him 20 minutes to actually go to sleep which really isn't that bad but when you're like really tired it's just like oh my god can you just go to sleep um and then he was fine to about half four and between half four and half five he was waking up literally every four to five minutes so by the time half past five came i was like just get in my bed so i put him into my bed and he went to sleep straight away. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he has a nightmare at the same time every night. But he's just so unsettled at that time. He, If he's in his cot, he'll start screaming in his sleep. He'll be asleep but screaming. So 
I have to get him out and as soon as I pick him up he feels like he's in like a deeper sleep on me perfectly fine so like last night I put him in my bed he didn't even want to eat he literally just wanted cuddles and just went back to sleep but if I put him in his cot I don't know what it is like he obviously his bed's warm because he's been laying in it so it's not a temperature change I think he just wants that comfort which I don't really mind it doesn't bother me at all but I don't want to get back into that habit I really don't want that for him so yeah and really I think that's it I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>